Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a Let's Play and early impressions, although you could possibly call this a full review, for Lepidoptera VR, a game that was released on the Steam Store back on July 24th, 2023. It normally retails for $7, so it's on current sale, 50% off on the Steam Store. And I bought this game. I'm testing it out on the Meta Quest 2 using Link Cable. Uh, beware. Um, currently, you do need to sign up for a third-party account to play this game. And you do need to provide an email in order to play this game. Now, you could provide a fake email, but I think you'll have problems if you forget your password or something like that. I don't know how you'd retrieve your account if you provided a fake email. Uh, and there's some issues as well. Now, this game is not listed as early access, but it, it probably should. <laughs> and as you can see there, I went through the wall. Um, it's also limited in content. That's the biggest thing. So, you know, this is probably why it should be listed as early access. So these are all coming soon. Amazon Rainforest. Slovakia, Azerbaijan, and Republic of the Congo. Now, we do have a date for Slovakia. The developer says December, but that's a pretty long ways off. So, yeah, it, it's a little odd that just for one of these four, um, it won't be till December. But that's a pretty long wait, and... You know, <laughs> there's only two maps, the United States, Black Hills, South Dakota, and Australia, Cook Mountain, Australia. Now, one of the cool things about this uh, app or game, whatever you want to call it, is that you, you do have the board of your photos over here. So these are the photos I've taken. And I've already experienced both maps, and I did explore both maps, I think, pretty fully. Um, here are the photos of... I, th I took photos besides just the butterflies, but you can see my butterfly photos here. I don't know if you can see the butterfly here. Um, but yeah, these are all butterflies. And then of a cave, of a bird flying in the air, and then just some flowers. Probably the flowers one I should probably delete because it didn't come out really good. Maybe of the bird too, but you know, you can see the sky and the bird just flying there. So uh, let's go ahead and let's just, let's pick the better map. So I'm going to pick the better map, which is Black Hill, South Dakota. Now you can choose single or multiplayer. We'll go ahead and choose multiplayer. I think the only difference is just the uh, social stuff you can do on multiplayer, but I think they're pretty much the same experience. Um, I, I did try single player and multiplayer earlier, and I didn't really notice a difference other than those uh, multiplayer options if you choose multiplayer. So again, we're connected to a public room. So if I had friends, I could invite them over. And you basically have a tablet. And here you have the photos that you've taken. And a little tag here. So you can tag it. You know, if you can identify the butterfly, you can put, I guess, that information there. Um, and you see here, there's, you can learn about all the, I think there's 40 different butterfly species you can find per the developer's page. And uh, how many pictures, how many species found. <laughs> it says zero out of 20. Well, I know I've, obviously I have more than that. And you can change the, but those are basically it. Now, there are settings. Uh, I have it on high graphical settings. You do have full locomotion and snap turning available only. Um, and as far as settings, I think it's only the music and the visual quality. And that's it. I have it on high. But I really didn't notice between high and low, uh, if I'm being honest. In fact, um, on the second map, I experienced really bad pop in you know the the draw distance was really bad on the second map now on this map it it's still there but it's not as bad as the second map i have no idea why the second map is so much worse now there you saw you might have seen some pop in uh i don't see the flowers i get closer and now i see the flowers so there's definitely an issue with the draw distance like it's just not big enough to draw distance 
Um, but it's running at a pretty steady 90 frames per second. So developer, and I, I didn't see any way to change the draw distance. I don't know if you can see the settings on the desktop. No, you cannot see the settings on the desktop view. But the only settings is either graphics high and the music and the sound volume for, for the game or the music. So that's it. So unfortunately, I can't show you that because you won't see it on the desktop view. But uh, those are some butterflies. If you want to take a photo, in fact, let me see if I can catch a. Can I catch a butterfly? I think you have to wait till it's. I think you can catch a butterfly if I'm not mistaken. At least I saw the developer do that. Well, let's just take a photo first. And so you can see how the process of how that goes. There you go. I took some photos and then you can just decide to keep it or delete it. And we're going to keep it. You can actually drop it. doesn't make any difference. Um, but uh, I don't know how you grab a butterfly. I don't know if you just wait patiently here and hope it eventually comes to you or, or exactly how that works. Um, but you can't grab them or anything like that. Uh, but I did see the developer's page where he's, he shows a butterfly flying on his finger. I don't know if you just have to be patient. Or if there's something I'm doing wrong. But I don't want to dwell on that. Now, this map looks a lot better than the second map. So, um, you know, between Cook Mountain and the Black Hills, South Dakota, I think... Uh, Black Hill, South Dakota map looks a lot better than the Cook Mountain, Australia. So we see some butterfly species here, uh, but obviously there's a, there must be a whole lot of other butterfly species that I missed uh, because the developer does mention 40 different species. Um, with the flowers, you can't really do anything with them other than take photos of them if you want. Um, you can pick up certain items, but... There's many that you can't. Now, the developer mentions rock climb, being able to climb the rocks. Um, I'm going to try that, but I don't think I figured that one out yet. I don't know if there's just certain rocks you can climb. But I'll go ahead and... By the way, this is the normal walking speed. And you can speed up with the right trigger. It just goes a little bit faster. So you can grab the rock and throw it. That's what you can do. <laughs> okay. But uh, as far as climbing, I, I don't know... He mentions you can rock climb on the store page. I, I don't know if that's just you can pretend to rock climb. I, I don't I don't know what he means by that. Um, I really don't. I mean, is this what he means by rock climbing? I wouldn't really call that rock climbing. I was I would just say that's just picking a path and going to it. I mean, if that's what he means by rock climbing, that that wouldn't be my definition of rock climbing. Now, um, this map. Like I said, it looks decent. It's not obviously not, not the best visuals, but this is budget price. You know, normal price seven dollars on sale for like three dollars and fifty cents. Three fifty three fifty. Three fifty. Like some people would say, three fifty. But you know, there's not a whole lot of content is the problem. Um the water looks looks nice, you know, better than most VR games, unfortunately. You know, not the most realistic looking water, but Water in VR games usually looks really bad, and this one looks looks decent. So this is the map for the USA, as mentioned. And, I, and as you can tell, there's some draw distance issues. And I see a butterfly here. I don't know if this is a different species. It looks like a different species because it's a whole lot smaller. I don't know if, if it is, but we're going to go ahead and take a photo just in case. And you can zoom in, zoom out. And as soon as we... Okay, we're going to have to be patient here because, okay, let's zoom out. There we go. We got, got the photo. And, ah, come on. There we go. So, I don't know if those are different species of butterflies, but they might be. <laughs> okay. So I think this is enough of this map. Like, obviously, we can explore it a bit more and try to find more butterflies. But I don't want to make this a long video. But you get the gist of the game. What is this? 
That looks like there's still like a little blue light that's floating by. Okay, that's weird. Maybe it's a ghost. <laughs> but there's obviously some, you know, like I said, pop in. But draw, draw distance just isn't very good. But at least this map looks decent. Now we're going to compare this to the other map. So we're going to go home. And you're going to see just the difference in visual fidelity and how the second map looks like a work in progress versus, especially compared to the first map. So again, that was uh, South Dakota, USA. And uh, Black Hill, South Dakota. Okay. But it, it, it looked nice, you know, especially for the budget price. But now we're going to go to Cook Mountain, Australia, and you're just going to see the difference in visual fidelity. And I think the difference is noticeable. Now, the pop-in is really bad here. Uh, the draw distance just isn't very good. Um, it does seem to be a bigger map, so maybe that's part of the problem. But as you can see, there seems to be like a visual downgrade as well. Now, this is still on high graphical settings. So, and like I've lowered it. I, I've put low, I put high. didn't really, really notice a difference. But you can see the pop-in. The draw distance is very severe. <laughs> and it just doesn't look very good. But just the, the visual problems here, the, the the visual fidelity here is not very good. Um, if I'm being honest here, the visuals are just pretty bad because the pop-in is so awful. The draw distance is so awful. and it, it just looks like a big visual downgrade. Now, I think the first map looked great you know it looked good enough for the budget price but i didn't think it looked great but this this is this is just not good it's not pretty to look at um I, and i don't know what the issue is here i don't know why this map just looks so much worse than the first map but it's it's a noticeable difference and this map is just not very pleasant to explore which is bad for this type of game you know this is a butterfly photography game you know nature walking simulator or you know nature exploration game so you know the, it should be pleasant to walk around and explore and when that's not right that's a big problem I'll try to take a photo at the right time there we go and again i still don't know how to grab butterflies i don't know if you can can or cannot but the store page video does show that you can. But how you do that, I don't know. I don't know if you just got to be really patient or if it's not possible. I, I don't know. But it's definitely a missed opportunity because I'm sure lots of people would like to be able to interact with the butterflies. I have tried. I've just not been able to. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or I just need to be more patient. But uh, you can tell the sounds are totally unrelated to what's happening. Um, you can see birds flying on this map. Like, I've seen birds flying. Uh, but just uh, the pop-in is so bad, it's hard to enjoy this map. Because it's just not pleasant to look at. And if it's not pleasant to look at, then it's not fun to explore. And honestly, I didn't really want to go around looking for butterflies in this map. Just because it, looked, it didn't look good at all. And this is troubling because, like I said, there's only two maps. The rest of the four are coming soon. And this one feels like a work in progress. Like, it feels like it was released in early access. But this is actually a full game and not listed as early access. I believe the game should be listed as early access, though. Um, because I think the developer has a lot of work here um, to make this a pleasant experience. Because so far, only the first map, I would say, is a functional part of the game. Um, this definitely doesn't feel like it's it's ready for release. It feels like an alpha proto prototype. <laughs> and it was released as, as a finished product where there's just too many issues. Um, so yeah, it's very limited in content. Now, I love the premise of this game. You know, a butterfly photography game. Is just right up my alley. This is the type of game I enjoy in VR. And to be honest, there's just not really that many good butterfly games in VR. There's a few, but usually the problem is the problem this game has. You know, they're indie developers, and usually the 
the end product is half baked. And this is the most promising one, believe it or not, even with all the issues this game has. This is the most promising butterfly game that I've experienced in VR. But if I'm being honest, it's hard to recommend this game due to the issues that this map in particular has. I mean, this is ha at least half the game. So half the game is a work in progress that barely works. That feels like a prototype. So it's hard to recommend a game given that status. Even the first map, you know, had some pop in, but this is severe pop in. The draw distance is way off. I don't know if the developer just made this map too big and it's just collapsing under its own weight, but it is running at a steady 90 frames per second on high graphical quality. So I don't know why it's this bad, but it obviously needs a lot of work before it could be something I could recommend. Now, I think I'm being generous because I'm calling this a early impression versus calling this a full review. I mean, I could really call this a full review. And if I was doing a full review, I'd probably have to give this a negative review given just how broken half of the game is. Uh, but I'm going to be generous. I'm going to call this early impressions. And I hope the developer just made a mistake and this is really early access. Uh, but it does seem like the developer is bringing more content. He did, like I said, the developer promises putting a map of Slovakia for December 2023. Um, developer promises that you're not going to have to register with a third party account in order to experience the single player of this game in the future. I hope that update is the first thing the developer is working on because I would think that's very important. I think having to register with a third party website is keeping a lot of people from buying this game. I know I was um, not happy about having to register with a third party website just to play this game and you know, provide my email. I'd rather not do that. So, uh, I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10, a neutral recommendation. Call it early impressions, and I hope the developer fixes these issues. Because, like I said, I do think this is a promising title. And really, the only reason to buy this game now is to support development. So, if this looks interesting to you, if you know, I know it does to me. And I'm willing to, to put my money and support this developer where it may not work out you know <laughs> you know what happens in vr you, you buy a vr game and then it's never updated again in the future so that might happen might not like i don't know this developer so i can't say for sure whether it's likely or not likely to happen but we all know that mr that vr has a bad history of vr developers and not getting updates um but i hope this game does get updated because I really love the premise of this game. I really like this uh, walking around in nature, exploring and taking photographs of butterflies. You know, that's right up my alley. But this is this is bad. This, this map is bad. Um, the first map was a whole lot better. So I hope the developer fixes these issues and brings more content. And that overall, this is just a much better experience in the future. But for right now, I'm giving it a generous 5 out of 10 uh, neutral recommendation. Um, the first map was definitely better. It is budget price, so, you know, for 350 right now, I think you're kind of getting what, what, <laughs> uh, what you're paying for, maybe. It's a close call, but I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 <laughs> for that reason, because it's low priced. And, you know, I, li I like the premise. Oh, by the way, this is the invisible boundary. This is what happens when you reach the invisible boundary. So, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> but, and this, this is the faster speed here. But, anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my Let's Play and Early Impressions for Le Petit... Oh, man, I already forgot the name of the game. Le Petidora? I think. I think I, I mispronounced the game already. Uh... <laughs> But yeah, this is a butterfly photography game, nature exploration game, nature walking simulator. And, you know, this game is, is basically my type of game. I want this game to succeed, but it's just not there at the moment. And so if you're interested in this game, um, keep in mind right now you're buying to support the developer. That's, that's the main reason you're buying this game right now. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyers. This has been my Let's Play Early Impressions. If you enjoyed this video... 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.